guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding Tutorials. In this episode, we're going to learn how to make an immutable inventory by making an, in an inventory C plugin. The word immutable, which is definitely applicable to programming, means that something cannot be changed. Um, basically, let's say that you have a constant variable like pi, and you would never want to change it, there you would make it immutable so it can't be mutated or changed. In this case, we're going to want to give the user of the command a look at the inventory filled with all of the items that the uh, other player has, but we don't want them to be able to take items out of the inventory or put items into the inventory. So what I've done already is I'm being a little bit lazy and as you know, setting up commands with Bucket is a real pain because you need to register it in the plugin.yml, override the far too long on command method, and then do all of your checks and your casting and whatever. And I really don't feel like doing that. So what I'm gonna what basically I'm doing is I'm gonna use an event instead since it's much easier to use. And basically, um the input that this would accept, uh, that it, this would expect, is basically exclamation point in C, and then the name of the player, like Pogostick29. So you don't really need to understand what this does, but basically all it does is if the message starts with exclamation point in C, then we're going to assume that this is a um, this is a request to use in C. Now, of course, I'm not. I'm doing some stuff without checking. Like I'm assuming that they specify a name without checking. If you were to ever use this, you would of course want to make an actual command. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting a player. So what this does right here is it splits the message at the space, and then it returns at index one, which since all indices start at zero is the name. Basically, I'm getting a player by the second um, word that they say. So if they say exclamation point in C pogostic 29, this gets pogostic 29, and then it gets the player. Then we create an inventory. Null is the inventory holder, since we don't want it to have one. It's just, you know, one-time use for the server. Um, it is of size, whatever the player's inventory is, which is I don't know if it changes, it's just default, but easier way to do it. And then it's in C colon space and the name of the player. It's very important that the name of the inventory starts with in C because that's how we're going to actually um, make it immutable, and you'll see that soon. Then basically we go through all the items in the player's inventory, and if each item is not null, then we add it. Then we get the player who ran the command to open the inventory. This is great so far, but uh, right now... The player could drag stuff into the inventory, which they would, of course, lose if they close the inventory. Or they could stay, take stuff out of the inventory and, especially, and basically get free items. So what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, we're going to make a uh, listener to listen to this public void on play on uh, we'll call it on inventory click, and this is an inventory event. E. So, this is an invent. Uh, sorry, not an in inventory click event. Inventory event is the superclass. Not important, but this event, this inventory click event, is basically called whenever a player clicks on an item in the inventory. So, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to we want to cancel this event if they're in an invc inventory. So, we're going to say if exclamation point e dot get inventory dot get name dot starts with nc colon space return so if the name of the inventory does not start with nc colon space then we're going to return because we can assume that it's not an in well we know it's not an mc uh, inventory now if you wanted to put this in color and you put like chat color dot red before it you need to check if the string starts with chat color dot red plus nc otherwise it will not work so all we really need to do is just say um, e dot set cancel true but um, you know it's that's just a very simple uh, way of doing it so let's just 
test this out, and I do have a plugin.yml, and then I'll just show you a little bit of a more advanced way if you wanted to be more specific in your checking. So, server is starting up. Let's give it a second. And there we go. Alright, so now we are in the uh, overworld, and as you can see, I currently have 64 fishing rods or grappling hooks in my inventory. Let's just uh, go into creative mode for a second and um, grab some random blocks. Alright, so clearly I have a bunch of uh, random items in my inventory, and now I'm back in survival mode. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually do the chat exclamation point in C pogo stick 29. Now, as you can see, um, it will, the message is chatted, so you probably want to cancel it, but as you can see, it does currently, it does show my inventory. Now, um, the space here is in the inventory where it's not there. I think that what you would want to do is just add an item stack of air, and then that should create the space. Or it might be with, you might use a regular for loop, and um, you can use the set method, which takes the index, and you could do it that way as well. But this is just a basic way of doing this. Now, as you can see, whenever I click on anything, be it in my inventory or in their inventory, it immediately puts it back. This is similar, this is exactly, really, how, um, like, inventory GUI menus, like, I don't know, a server selector or a shop work, they just stop the item from being moved, and then, you know, it, you, they can tr handle their custom event by whatever the user clicks. So that's an immutable uh, inventory. Now, if you want to be a little bit more specific, and in the case of an MC, we wouldn't really want this, but uh, a good case is, uh, I know there's a plugin with a feature that you can, that has like a free command, where you can get, in, you can open up an inventory full of uh, free whatever. So if I say free with ID 1, I think it would give me dirt, and it would give me a ton of free dirt. And if I removed it from the inventory, the next time I ran the command, it would give me a new inventory. Uh, there's also one called, like, a garbage disposal, where you can put, um, you can put items in there, and then once you close out of it, it's gone. But what we can actually do is, we can say that maybe we want people to be able to remove stuff, but not put stuff back in or the other way around. So what you can do is we can add an if statement and we can say e dot and then you'll look through. Now there is is left click or is right click, is shift click, you know, left click, right click, or if they click holding shift, which is uh, interesting. And then you can see there's a ton of other cool things. But what we want to look at right now is actually, uh, where is it? e dot get, I think it's click type. Let me just check. Click type dot. No, sorry. I think this is for um, checking the type of the like modifiers when clicking. I think we want e dot get um, slot type. Now, what we can do here is, as you can see, slot type is an enumerator and it contains um, some constants: armor, container, crafting, fuel, outside, quick bar, result. Now, um, what this does is we can say if the place where they click is, um, let's say we want to stop people from putting stuff in, but we can let them take stuff out. So if they click on the uh, hot bar or quick bar, then we can say e dot set canceled true. So if the slot that they click is the quick bar, then it will cancel it. Now if we go ahead and start this up. Now, as you can see, one second, if I do this now, oh, my inventory is empty, of course. So, let's just quickly grab some items. Alright, so, there we go. Now, uh, if I go ahead and run the commander, do the chat, I can take stuff out, but as you can see, I can't put stuff in. Now, clearly, if I click on this and I try to put it in, it's not going to work. Whereas it will work if I put it in there. You'd probably want to have it so that if they click in the other inventory, that it allows them one time to click in the hotbar. But, you know, just basically, you can't modify the hotbar, but you can modify any other 
aspect of the inventory. So of course for this example I'm going to remove that because it wouldn't really make any sense but that's just another uh, cool thing that you can do with the inventory click event. And if you look around inside of the event there's a ton of different methods that you can use um, you know like a lot of is like you can get the click and see information about that current item and cursor for you know what they what they uh, are ho uh, holding over you can get the slot you can also get the result where result is um, accept or deny which exists in a lot of different events but it's just you can check if it was allowed or not like in a player login event if they get kicked for being banned, then it, they would not be allowed, and you would want to not execute the code for them, for example. But I digress. So that is all for this video. Um, this was a request uh, for making an immutable inventory. You cannot change anything inside of this particular inventory. However, if I did make a chest and open it up, uh, I would be able to modify that as I please. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.